this video, we will show how to troubleshoot a clutch or brake when electrical problems may be the cause. Any electromagnetic clutch or brake requires electric power to be applied for the unit to engage. If no power is applied to the unit, no action will take place. So our first check is to make sure that power is reaching the clutch or the brake. The tools needed to check electrical status are a simple flathead screwdriver and a volt ohm meter. It is best to check power right at the clutch or brake rather than at the power source. That will provide the most accurate status. For demonstration purposes, we have an SF400 clutch, a plunger type limit switch, and a CBC 190 volt power supply. When the plunger on the switch is pressed down, the clutch is powered and it engages. When the plunger on the switch is released, power is removed and the clutch disengages. If the unit is not engaging, there may be an electrical cause. That is, power may not be reaching the unit, the coil may have failed, or the coil voltage rating may be wrong for this installation. Since Warner Electric units run on DC power, we'll turn the meter to DC power to check. Standard clutches and brakes are not polarity sensitive, so you can place the two probes on either of the wires on the input to the unit. If there is no power at the terminals, you want to check at the switch, at the power supply, and then at the source. If there is voltage going to the unit, but it will not work, one possible cause is a failed coil. To check the coil, we measure resistance, so we switch the meter from measuring voltage to measuring ohms. Ohm meter checks should be made with the power turned off and the circuit open. To be certain, disconnect one lead to the magnet. A coil that has gone open will have infinite resistance, that is, the meter will show a maximum value. A coil that has shorted will have no resistance. In this case, if I touch the two probes, since there's nothing between them, they show zero resistance. In the Warner Electric catalogs, in the engineering section, we provide coil values for each of the clutches and brakes by size and by family. The unit we have is an SF400 clutch. In addition to the catalogs, the same electrical data is provided in the manual for the given clutches or brakes. In the P200 manual for the SF400, we can see the unit should have a value of 1087 ohms for a 90 volt coil. We are close to the 1087 goal. There will be some slight changes of resistance depending on the temperature of the coil, but if we're close to the goal value, that is enough to tell us we have a good coil for the proper voltage rating. So far, we've established that there is power going to the unit and that the coil is good. If the coil ohm value had been different, that may be an electrical cause as well. If we were to see a value of around 73 ohms, that would tell us we have a 24 volt coil, which could be a cause of overload or blown fuses in a 90 volt system. By checking to see that the unit is seeing the correct amount of voltage, that the coil is intact, and that the coil is the correct one for the power applied, we have ensured that the system is ready to operate electrically. If the unit is still not functioning, contact Warner Electric Application Support for assistance with mechanical troubleshooting.